Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse, and today I'm going to show you what's in this little black box. Yes, it is the DJI Spark, DJI's smallest copter they've ever made, and it's still a pretty powerful little machine. Now in the box you're going to get the quick start guide, a USB cable, a USB charging brick, and the copter itself, along with an extra set of props tiny little props. A lot of people thought these were the same as Mavic, but they're not. They're actually a lot smaller. So this is what's going to come in the carrying case as you get it. There is no remote control that is with the Fly More combo or available separately. And these two holes on either side are actually designed to fit extra batteries. So you could have one in the copter and two extra batteries in the case itself. Now let's take the Spark out and take a look at it. You can see it is very small. This phone is an iPhone 7 Plus, and you can see it's not much bigger than that phone. So it's quite a bit smaller than the Mavic or the Phantom. It really is a palm-sized copter. Now on the front, there's a two-axis stabilized gimbal that's going to record in 1080. However, it's a larger sensor than that because it also uses electronic image stabilization, which is how they're getting such great smooth video out of a two-axis gimbal. The section here on the front is the front-facing obstacle avoidance. On the bottom, it has the vision possession sensor. And these pads that are on the battery are going to work with an upcoming travel case that you'll just drop in and be able to charge the battery on the go. On the back, we have the on-off switch that will give us our uh, power indicator. And it's just like any other intelligent battery. Just tap once and then press to hold to turn it on. And then underneath the Spark label there, we have the micro SD card slot and the USB port. Now the USB port on here has two functions. One, you can use the PC Assistant to do the software updates, or you can charge the battery with it. So when you're on the go, you can hook that up in your car to a USB port or to the USB brick that comes with it to be able to charge it. Now you're going to be able to get between, you know, 14, 16 minutes of flight time with it and plenty of recording time because it's only 1080. Uh, in stills, it doesn't do DNG, it only does JPEGs. So those are going to be pretty small also, around 700K. So you can fit a lot of pictures on one card. Now some of the things that make it unique is, like I said, it doesn't come with a remote control. You, you can get that separately. It has full gesture control. So you can take off and land in the palm of your hand, use your hand to make it move in different directions, up or down, or away from you. You can wave at it to send it back and up about 10 feet to get a nice selfie shot, and then wave at it for it to come back and again land in your hand. So those features support photos. If you want to do video, then you're going to connect via Wi-Fi to it with your smartphone, and you can actually fly it using virtual controls within the DJI GO 4 app, and then you can do video as well. Using just your phone connected over Wi-Fi, you'll have limited range and speed, but you will still have features such as tap fly, the gesture mode, active track, and some of the other built-in features, including tripod mode for really, really steady flight. So once you get it out of the box, plug in to your wall with the USB cable, plug it in the back, get the battery charged up, connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot that it creates, and then it'll take you through the activation and any firmware updates. Now, to activate the Wi-Fi, there's two different ways of doing it. Within the Go app, you can go to the menu and select scan the QR code, and there's a QR code on the side of the box or underneath the battery. Or you can use that same information, the SSID and the password, to set up your Wi-Fi to it manually. And then you can just run the Go app and connect to it. So DJI Spark, the basic model like this is $499. The Fly More combo with an extra battery, shoulder bag, a three-port charging hub, and some extra props is $699. And it also includes the remote controller. Now, these are available for pre-order right now at multicopterwarehouse.com, and the white version like this is going to start shipping within about a week. So you're not going to be waiting a long time to get your Spark. So check them out today, multicopterwarehouse.com. 
This has been Kerry. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Basic features like active fly, not active fly, <laughs> using, your, using just your phone over Wi-Fi, you're going to have limited space.